everybody welcome back to the channel here we have the mucky nuts fender this is a front fender for a mountain bike here's my brand new fazari wire peak crazy love it but this is the long version mucky nuts yada yada so to the keen eye you guys will probably notice there's one on the back well sure enough so this is a front one, used to be this long. I woke out, broke out the Dremel, trimmed it so it fit in there and cleared everything. Used the Velcro and put it on here. Now what I did do, because I literally have like one mile on this bike, I've, I've barely even ridden it because the weather's been crappy, is I took some foam tape stuff which I've got here. I don't know, I had it in my shelf. I don't know where it came from. And I put it on the sides. You can see it in here on the rear. I'm going to do the same thing to the front and then use the Velcro so it does not scratch up the paint or anything on the front because this one's going to go in here. It's going to go and tie to the forks and around this and uh, hopefully keep the important expensive part of the bike clean is the goal. So what you get is your big ass fender. You get a roll of the Velcro and this. So they got a different versions. They got shorts, they got longs. I'm in the Pacific Northwest. It's been raining for weeks and it's just, it's sloppy time of the year. So I'm gonna try to protect my investment as best I can. And this is how I'm gonna do it. So I know it's not gonna keep everything off, but it's definitely gonna hopefully help keep, uh, the, this should keep the rear fender or the rear wheel from getting anything on the frame so it'll just be whatever comes off the back of this wheel hopefully won't be much but i know it'll cover unfortunately the motor but i'll do my best so once i get this on i'll show you how i did it all right do a trial test fit so this section here is where it's going to velcro to that obviously it's going to go there that's going to go there these are going to go into here then you'll adjust the fitment here to get it it's sitting on the tire how you like it looks like it'll be fine i'm going to take some of that foam tape now and put it on here where it's going to touch things so it won't scratch anything and then uh, we'll be back after that okay as long as my guesstimates are right so i put the foam stuff on there and then i stick my finger on it a bunch to take a bunch of the tack off because it's really really sticky and i'm not i'm not gluing it on there with the foam i just want it as a buffer so I got that on both sides and then on the top here and then I took some Velcro and put it, I'm afraid these ones might be a little short by the looks of it, but um, I wrapped it around there and kind of figured that's how long they should be. Hopefully I didn't screw up. Let's uh, test fit and find out. I think I'm going to want the top ones to connect first, so that'll hold it up into place. Oh, it'll work fine. I can suck them up tighter later. That'll work great. Okay, and then the side ones, get them around. And that one to go under that brake line there. And figure out how you want it to sit on the wheel. And now I'll do the other side. Same thing here.
look pretty centered. That looks pretty close. Not bad. And you can adjust it a little bit to make it fit however you want. I think it's looking pretty good though. I like it. Pop you guys out of here and get a good look. Yeah, piece of cake. Go over some jumps. It is off just a tiny bit. There it goes. It's got a little flex in it, but hey, that'll work. It's not touching the tire anywhere. So, I mean, you can adjust this by kick the bottoms of these this way or the front back a little bit, and it'll make it hug the back a little more, but it's close enough to do what it's got to do. So there we go. We've got fenders on the bike. Ready to go hit some uh, muddy PNW weather and uh, see how it works. So I hope you guys like that. Links are down in the description for everything I use in my videos. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you got a better rear um, fender option because that's, that's what 60 bucks worth the fenders looks like. They're 30 bucks a pop. <clears throat> so... I mean, ideally you want this to come way back here to keep no spray on yourself, but I just, I'm not sure I can justify the looks of something like that, but uh, yeah, should work though. Sorry about the wind and the sun angle, but um, did two rides yesterday with the mucky nuts and the modded rear on it. Um, you can see a little bit gets on there, not bad, but I mean, that's to be expected because it's going to fling it up, right? So is what it is got a ding around my wheel already but the rear one is what i'm most happy about because you look like nothing got on the bike from the rear one um up on the seat i think i had a little piece of dirt here my back was clean granted the trails were not absolutely terrible but i'm super stoked on how this turned out and i could not be happier with that rear one and the front didn't get anything in my face or nothing so highly recommended like comment subscribe check out the links down below in the description and let me know what you think catch you on the next one thanks for stopping by